as I welcome you back into morning moments with Jesus today and we start our devotion time this morning the Lord talks to us today about our if only moments if you've lived life at all then there are perhaps uh, if only moments in all of our lives you might say today if only I would have made better choices when I was younger or if only I would have prepared better for retirement Maybe there's somebody today that says, if only I would have spent more time with that relative or that friend before they passed away. Whatever the case may be, all of us have those if-only moments. But the Lord speaks to us through His Word that says that there's really nothing we can do about those moments, for they are already past. But we can have some if-only moments in our lives today. And in our lives going forward and make wiser choices in those times in which we have to make them. In Deuteronomy chapter 15 and verse 4, 5, and 6, the Lord speaks about an if-only moment. And it says, The Lord shall greatly bless you in the land which the Lord your God gives you for an inheritance to possess. If only you carefully hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God, to observe to do all the commandments which I command you this day. For the Lord your God blesses you as he promised you. That's an if-only moment. He's saying that you can be blessed and that you can possess the things that the Lord has promised you if only you will listen to his voice and observe to do the things which he's commanded you to do. So first we have to listen to what he says to do. Then we have to go out and do the things that he says to do, to not only be blessed, to not only prosper, to not only possess the things that God has for you today, but to enjoy the day that he has made for us. So today I want to speak a word to you, that I believe the Lord wants somebody to hear today in our Morning Moments family. If only you would listen to the voice of the Lord and not all the other voices that are pulling you in different directions. Listen to that this morning. If only you would listen to the voice of the Lord and not to all the other voices that seem to be pulling you in different directions. If only you could learn to see yourself as valuable to God and stop gauging your worth based on comparing your life with other people's lives. That's a dangerous thing to do. If only you could finally forgive yourself of the one thing that still seems to burden you and you just can't seem to move past it. If only you could forgive yourself. If only you could understand how liberating it is to forgive those who have hurt you and harmed you in any way. The Lord speaks that this morning and says, If only you would rise today and say, Today I choose to be joyful. I choose to enjoy the beautiful things and the beautiful people that God has placed in my life today. I choose to walk by faith today. And not by sight. So I ask you this morning. What kind of day would today be. If only you could trust the God who made this day. I pray that blessing over you today. That if only you could see yourself through these things. Which God just spoke to you. What kind of day would you have today. I pray a blessing over your home. I pray a blessing over your family. Over all the things that concern you today, we take them to the Lord on your behalf. Be safe, be strong, and always be blessed. And if only you could find a place where you could listen to the voice of the Lord today and then apply the things which He speaks to you, what a day today would be. You have a great and wonderful day. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow.